There's a two-week Asian food festival taking place right now in the city of Markham that hoops, not, not hoops, hopes to boost local businesses. Toronto is getting its first citywide reusable takeout program. And you know, look, I'm not really entirely sold on this and I'll tell you why. And what the heck is PFAS? Apparently it's a big deal and many national food chains are banning this additive in their food packaging. Wobbling, wobbling, everybody. That's all coming up. I'm Elesh P. This is Food Packaging TV. Asialicious is what they're calling it, which began on February 14th, Valentine's Day, which aims to boost sales at restaurants and stores that have been seeing a slump in business in part of the growing rumors and misconceptions about coronavirus. Mayor Frank Scarpini told Global News, it's very unfortunate that people are spreading misinformation and relying on rumors. This plan is welcome news to Mark Ma, who fa whose family owns Grandma's Home, a local restaurant. He said business is usually better around their Lunar New Year, blaming coronavirus over a reaction for the downturn. People are kind of scared, like staying at home. It's like when 9-11 happened, and I remember one of my favorite authors, Zig Ziglar. He told this story. Someone asked him after 9-11, if it would change his travel plans. And he said, of course not. I don't drive my car looking in the rear view mirror and I'm not gonna run my life looking over my shoulder. So go, go to Asia Licious and take that mask off and drop it like it's drop hot. It like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. BlockTO has recently posted about a pilot project called Wisebox, which begins February 21 for 14 restaurants in Toronto whom will be participating in the first ever reusable takeout container program. And here's how it works. Customers will rent a reusable container for a $5 deposit from any participating restaurant. Customers will then be able to return the boxes to any of the participating uh, locations for a full refund of their deposit. There's also a loyalty program which will provide members with discounts up to 15% off each meal taken out in their reusable containers. But I'm curious to know about their business model because I have a few questions. And here's what I'd like to know. Number one, what's your definition of a reusable container? So as an example, within the new state law in San Francisco, they've added a definition for reusable, which requires a vessel or container to be reused at least 100 times and is dishwasher safe, which makes me wonder how durable these containers are. From the images I have seen, they look like hinge lid containers, like a burger box. They can only be open and closed so many times before the hinge will snap. You know, these guys. So what about hot foods then? I'd like to review the material that Wisebox will be offering. It looks like they may be using PP, which is polypropylene. And if that's the case, just like the uh, microwaveable black takeout containers that you normally see, they're only good for the first round of nuking. After that, they may leach toxins into your foods if they're microwaved again. So number three, what about the cost of cleaning, usage of fresh water, chemicals to sanitize these containers for reuse? Plus combining up to 15% discount after the restaurant owner has to clean and apply his labor. Look, I'm not a mathematician, but something's not adding up here. Four, how would the returns work? To any participating restaurant? What happens if someone comes along and knocks off the packaging and starts going to the participating restaurants and starts just collecting refunds. Or what happens when a container breaks? Who pays for the replacement? And number five, where does a container go at the end of its life cycle? Look, I love the initiative and the idea of taking one step in the right direction, but I sense this operation falls in the 50 shades of green instead of a true green closed loop program. And also, I kind of wonder how they make their money, you know? Things that makes you go, hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. I left a link uh, of all the participating restaurants in the description below. I'd love to hear feedback from anyone who's going to be trying out the Wisebox program to hear firsthand of their experience. Do you remember? In August 2019, there was a headline that claimed Chipotle's compulsory bowls contain PFAS chemicals that may be bad for the environment and the consumer health. Do you? Do you remember that? <laughs> Do you remember? Well, that's the word on the street. PFAS is a new bad boy to be avoided. PFAS or per or polyfluoroalkyl substances are man-made chemicals 
designed to make products grease resistant, soak resistant, and stain resistant. They can be found in products such as food packaging, like microwave popcorn bags and pulp products, believe it or not, stain resistant carpets, rugs, and furniture, nonstick cookware, outdoor gear with durable water repellent coating, aerospace, medical, and automotive applications, and many specialty items such as firefighting foams, ski waxes, and industrial applications. According to the United States EPA, PFAS are very persistent in the environment and the human body, meaning they don't break down and they can accumulate over time. When PFAS was or are used in food packaging such as sandwich wrappers or takeout containers, they migrate into our food. They're also linked to cancer. They're called forever chemicals and the EPA reports that exposure to PFAS can lead to severe human conditions including cancer, which I mentioned, developmental issues and and reproductive harm. So every time you grab a bag of cookies or a fresh bread from the bakery section, you're increasing your exposure to these chemicals. With 99% of the US population found to have PFAS in their bloodstream and a growing evidence that numbers are similar all over the world, FIDRA, an environmental charity, believe this is an issue we can no longer ignore. And now for the good news on our side of the world, which are that state and local governments have started taking action especially in the US. Effective in 2020, San Francisco will be joining Washington in regulating the use of PFAS chemicals in the food service items, particularly to compostable products. The law states no person may sell, offer for sale, or otherwise distribute within the city. Beginning January 1, 2020, any food service where that is compostable and not fluorinated chemical free. And from what I understand, there are some national chains, chains that will not accept PFAS any longer. And at least one regional outfit in Vancouver that has refused all packaging that contains PFAS. So, how can you reduce your exposure? Well, start using products that are PFAS free. Where, where Elash? Where? Who, who has these products? I'll tell you. Bagcraft, a Novalix brand, let me show you some of these bags, have non-fluorinated grease resistant products for your takeout solutions. From sandwich wraps, deli bags, cookie bags, and tin tie bags. Ask your local distributor to bring you up to speed on your supply needs. For a full list of manufacturers whose products have been tested for PFAS and outlines brands to avoid and brands to seek out, check out the link in the description below. As the saying goes, serve the people who serve the people. Well, that's a mouthful for me this week. Just an update, I will be at the upcoming Restaurant Canada show that takes place from March 1st to the 3rd. I'll be at booth 905, easy to remember for one six nine oh five. And I hope to get an episode between FPTV between now and then, but no promises. But I will make it up to you as I'll be giving you a tour straight from the floor of the Enter Care Center. That's it for Food Packaging TV this week. Please subscribe and keep up with the latest. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, if you like what you hear, and of course, what you see. <laughs> I'm Lush P. I'll see you when I see you. Take care. I'd like to thank R3 for the lovely mug that they've given me. And also, I've been having some beautiful tea this morning uh, from Tea Pigs. This is the Tea Pigs chamomile and uh, chamomile flowers and herbal tea. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Gotta try it. One, one bag, two cups. Deal, deal. Block TO has recently posted a uh, 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 something. Then, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, that's not what I was going to say.